he's just gone for scans now, so um, fairly positive when I walk back in the sheds. Um, but uh, yeah, he's just gone for scans now, but uh, I think he's uh, he's doing well. Yeah, I can't. Obviously, I can't give that. I actually haven't seen him yet. I'm only sort of getting second-hand feedback, so we'll probably have to wait on that. Uh, probably not, I'd say, with the ankle. Watching him run there, out on the field there, it's usually it would hold up a little bit better than that if it's probably a one-weeker. Um, but he was having trouble running there, and I, you know that, that's usually a bit longer, I'd say. Yeah, it's not good at all um, when you see someone go down like that and um, straight away I, I was close to him and, you know, he, he was saying it was his neck, but, um, yeah, it's, you don't want to see that in our game, um, especially one of your teammates, but, you know, he was he's in good hands now with our medical staff, so um, for more reports, he's he's doing OK, which is, which is good, a positive sign, and... Yeah, at the end of the day, I just want to, hopefully his health is, is number one for us now at the moment. It was a great performance, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, some individuals were great. Oh, I thought the team was great. I thought we set it up well in the first half. I thought we were strong. Uh, most, every, I think everyone played their part in that. Um, and I thought we were quite physical. And I know we got some tries, but we, we set it up well early. Um, and then by, you know, the second half, uh, I thought we started the second half well, and then it uh, it became quite stop start. I think after that, uh, I thought we probably left a couple of tries out there um, at the back end. I think we just missed some opportunities that we we, we probably should have executed. It would have liked to have sort of gone into the fours there somewhere with with some of that execution, and um, I think there was enough time. But um, yeah. Uh, it wasn't to be. I thought it was a, a good platform laid. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, obviously Siwa uh, having a baby boy today was uh, positive for the club and and for him. And um, I'm not sure if that got across the reason he couldn't play today. Um, and then uh, Jared, you, you don't plan on that. You got to wait and see how a player is going to perform during the. Um, you know, the first 25, 30 minutes. And he got to half time, and then I was probably thinking around 50, 55 for him in the second half. And then he was just moving strong, carrying strong, leading from the front. Um, and he's got a big motor, and, and he deserved to play the 80 minutes. Even at the end there, it's sort of, it could have easily got him off. But to play 80 minutes as a prop is a, is a real big tick, and he deserved it. It's look. I've done that with Jared and Napa uh, in the past at different times, um, and you don't uh, ask it openly. There's sort of a usually there's a look at at half time, and Jazz knows what I'm thinking because we've we've done it a fair bit. Um, and I looked, and and you sort of know, you know, if you're going to leave them out there. And uh, there was yeah, it's unspoken, but there is a. There's some non-verbal communication that goes on there. Yep. Yeah, he's had he's had many great games. He's had many great games, and you know, um, yeah, he's uh, he's been working towards that um, and getting better, and he's he's got a lot more left. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, I think it was. I said to the boys after the game that I thought it was our best performance so far, but it's laid a platform for where we need to go. I don't think it's something. I don't think it was out of the box. I don't think it was extraordinary play that got us there. I thought it was. Uh, it was uh, consistent quality, sort of intense footy from 17 guys. Um, so it was something that we can repeat often. Yeah, we um, we knew we had to turn up and be physical with with Penrith. Um, with the way they're going this year, they've been dominating some teams through the middle and with their forward pack, with their running. So uh, we knew we had to start really fast and um, 
I thought we'd done that and it sort of gave us energy there and uh, it gave us a real good platform to play off. Um, yeah, when, when you're in the heat of the moment, you don't really know what sort of, you know, why he's gone or how long he's gone off for. Uh, you're just focused in the moment, but um, I'm sure Jared was thinking the same, um, you know, about his job and, and what he had to do to, to get the best out of himself and, and what would and the best for the team. And that was him tonight playing 80 minutes. He had to do his job for the team and he done it really well. Yeah, look, I spoke to him after the game there and um, he didn't look too comfortable. Um, yeah, it's pretty certain that it, I think he's broken his jaw. He has to go for scans, but, you know, fingers crossed, um, you know, he's been awesome this year and uh, he was a massive part, uh, massive uh, for us in, in game one. But, yeah, I'm not really thinking too far ahead. I'm, I'm really... You know, happy with our performance tonight, and um, we'll deal with that when when um, the time comes. Uh, no, I don't think that was a penalty. Um, uh, I think it was all right. I looked at it on the thing, but how well, how Luke hit him, um, it sort of brought his his body down and. I didn't swing with my arm or anything, and I think the rest would have picked that up anyway. So I don't think I have much to worry about at all. <laughs> no, I don't know. He's fine. It's only a bit of a bump there and a bit of a limp. I think it was more precautionary to get him off. And thanks. Thank you.